Hello everyone, Kenny and Cynthia Reed here in Muncie, Indiana. Today's date is Tuesday, March, can you believe how warm it is? 20th of 2012. This is actually a post version of our audio program that we do every Sunday night at 6.30 Eastern Time, 5.30 Central Time, called the New Attitude Action Now Show, where we apply concrete tips to ignite your optimism now. That show can be found on Twitter. The links for it are at the Twitter handle, Read New Attitude. That's R-E-E-D-N-U-A-T-T-I-T-U-D-E. -T -T -E. Read New Attitude on Twitter. Right now, we're going to do our first, I guess you could call it a visual version of the show that we did on the 18th. We were in Peoria, Illinois. We had just come back from a Super Saturday. It was a great event with Juliet St. John, who is the highest paid woman in all of network marketing in all of North America. She personally works with us and several other people that we refer to her. And Kenny, what do you have to say about the Chicago program before we get into our topic? You know, the program, actually, Cynthia, it was really a great program. Uh, you know, I'm sorry if you weren't there, you really missed the treat. Nakia Muhammad was just off the chain. It was really good. Uh, we took a guest with us that really didn't understand the business and had gotten into the business. When he left that event, he said, you know, I really am glad I came to this event because now I understand what I actually have hold of. He says, I have a clearer understanding of what I'm involved with now. So, you know, Cynthia, I think that was really, it was just fantastic. And once again, that's the reason why we're always encouraged and we encourage everyone in the business that when there's a special meeting going on, a Super Saturday, or you have a director in your area, you should try and get individuals you're talking to out there and then let them just get in front of these people. That's right. And, you know, everything will just take care of itself because there is no more important selling thing than really just being around real genuine people. Cynthia? Yes, and we want to make sure that the Chicago team knows how much we appreciate them. Director Jasmine McAlpin in the Chicago area, Coach's Corner members Emmett and Carolyn Farmer, and there are others like B. Petty, and we're just so many that we cannot name. But that is an on-fire group in the Chicago area, and the neat thing about it, what was most impressive to the person we took, who is also a part of our power team, Nakia Muhammad walked up to him and said, anytime you need me, I'm there. Nakia goes back and forth from Detroit to Chicago and Texas and other places. So anybody at all, if you know of anyone in any of the areas that you know where it's going to be a YTB meeting, if you don't know, get in touch with us or the person who told you about YTB International, and then we'll make sure that you are in front of someone that's credible and someone that will give them the right information. And so other than that, Juliet St. John, Nakia Muhammad, Emmett and Carolyn Farmer, Jasmine McAlpin, Tracy uh, there's Heiser. Tracy Heiser. How can we forget Tracy? Because she oh, just she did a fantastic training. She did. She truly did. And speaking of trainings, we'll give you a little information toward the end of this video about the Spring Cling Extreme Boot Camp, a global boot camp that is something that we want everyone to be a part of. Kenny? I guess the music is down now. Uh, we were playing Brian Culbertson's Something About Love. And, and speaking of love, everybody knows we've been married for a minute, 36 years. And we actually have had people say on the phone that we sound alike. Kenny has actually dialed in on conference calls. And he said, Ken and Cynthia Reed from Muncie, Indiana. And, and they say, hi. Hi, people say, well, hi, Cynthia. <laughs> guess what? <laughs> me? This is me. I'm the wonderful husband. And I'm the adorable wife. So it's not like this. It's like this. <laughs> He's the adorable anyway, husband. So now so you all know. That. Now you know. Okay, let's get into our topic, Kenny. Okay, our topic. Go ahead and leave. 
Go ahead and leave, go on, leave, go on, let the door hit you where the good Lord split you, whatever it is that you use to, <laughs> to, to tell someone, hey, I'm not going there with you, I'm sticking and staying. We have a Bible verse that we always talk about on New Attitude Action Now show. And the verse for the 18th was Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13 in the Old Testament. And I'm going to go ahead and read that. It says, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. And Kenny, there have been a lot of people that have looked back at the past and said, oh, we've gone through all these changes. And Nakia has talked about changes. Every time you see him, he's talking about changes, but you know something? It also talks about preparation in the midst of the change. So what about looking back and getting stuck back there and saying, I don't know. I'm not sure about this. I looked it up on Google. What do you think, Kenny? Well, you know, Cynthia, first of all, I have a saying, change is good. Now, the important thing about change, I think, really is, you know, we have people are always sort of fighting against change. They struggle with change because change is uncomfortable. And we know that change is uncomfortable, but you know, if you can think back upon all the things that we have today, we only have those because a change came about. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the horse and the buggy, and everybody thought that was great. I guess it beat walking, you know. <laughs> but when the automobile came along, you know, people that had already fallen in love with their horses weren't ready to go and get in a four-wheeled vehicle to carry them back and forth. But, you know, today, if you had your choice between a horse and a buggy and a car and you had to go, let's just say, 20 miles, how many of you would actually prefer a horse and buggy over, you know, your Chevy or your Cadillac? Now this or your is O's. not yeah. not about the Amish, you know. We respect everybody's faith. Yeah, no, but we're, but we're just talking about change, right? Okay, uh, think back. I know some of you are going to have to really think back about this. But do you remember what an LP is? That was a long plain oh, yeah. record. It was one of those big records, you know, big platter, went on a turntable, and all that. Oh, I'm sorry. A lot of the younger people today probably don't even know what a turntable is. Okay, but we went from a turntable to a reel-to-reel -reel tapes, and then we went from reel-to-reel tapes. You don't remember that either? <laughs> but we went from reel-to-reel -reel tapes, which people really didn't like, and, and, you know, we ended up with a thing called a CD. Okay, a little CD. Oh, I'm sorry. They we didn't know CD. about them so much. Because the prior CD, to the CD, no, 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 no. Prior to the CD, we had a cassette tape. Do you remember those cassette tapes? Can't find one. I guess we got oh, well, one. Those are so old. <laughs> we haven't used them in years. Okay. But then we went from that. We went into a CD. Now, I'm sure all of you remember a CD because these CDs have, you know, uh, little, little disc like things. That. All right. And those are, like, really great, right? And, you know, stop and think about this. We had DVDs. Oh, wow. They own a little disc. look just like the CD. Mm -hmm. Okay, but a lot of people really didn't want those things, and I, they probably wouldn't use them now, right? Oh, some people are still using those things, but you know what? Here's something else is like really important. An uh, MP3. What's an MP3? I have no idea. I was born in the fifties. Okay, and we actually oh those things you use computers to get MP3s and to download those. How many people really didn't want to? Use a computer. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't use a computer, Cynthia. I see my computer all day at work. I do not want to look at it. I just want to play bingo online at home. Yeah. I'm not ready for change. Well, hey, guess what? Something's really important, Cynthia. You know what? What? People that aren't ready for change, you don't really have a choice. That's right. See, because the world, quite frankly, doesn't care that you're not ready for change change is going to come about you're being told you're going to have to do your taxes online. online 
Yep, we're doing away with that paper. Okay. Wow, change has to be made. Oh, do you remember there was a time when people used candles and oil <laughs> those lanterns? Those old lamps, yeah, those old uh, yeah, oil lamps. those old things. Ask your grandmama and them about them. They, okay, they of course we got electricity now, so we have lights. You know, which which would you rather have? A candle or a light you can turn on and off. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we talk about change. Once again, I'm gonna tell you, change is good. Now. Stop and think about this. We have an old way of shopping. Yeah, we do. You know, that's the way you go get in the car and you go to the store and you walk around the, the store. Door, get confused. You pick up products. And then once you get your products, when you finally settle on the products, you go stand in a long line like at Walmart. With some grumpy people. Okay. I mean long lines. They got a lot of aisles, but a lot of long lines because they're not all open. Oh my! And when you walk in the superstore, because now they're super, they're super big they're, they're, and they're super, super long, super grumpy, and super slow. And while you're standing there, if you have been able to shop online mm -hmm. and know about the convenience of shopping online, no, you don't have to stand in line. You can shop Cynthia twenty four seven. I mean, that's what you like to do anyway. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you know, for her, change is good. Well, I don't know how good that is for me. But the bottom line is, at least I know when she shops, I don't have to go stand in a long line. Because actually, I could probably stay home and watch a basketball game. No, the TV actually watches him. Well, the ball whatever. game watches him, y'all. But okay. change is good, see, because we have remotes before we didn't have those. But you know what? Let's all talk about something a little different here. More seriously, why people get up and go. Now, there are a lot of companies out there good companies, not yeah, knocking them, sure. but you got to look and see exactly what it is that the person is leaving your company for. If that person who left you, a director, we don't have to name names, there are plenty of them. A director yeah. just took off and left you because somebody waved something more attractive in front of them. And, and we don't judge, we don't know why people left, but you know something, don't sit back because they got up and leave and say, um, well, you just don't understand. I wish you well. Uh, most of the time, the money has not been spent right. The money has not been, um, what do you say, uh, appropriated in a way that would be wise in a wealth mindset. Which hey, but, is, you, but you know what, Cynthia? This is what I think about. Uh-oh. When we, we, we have to go star. back, go way back uh -oh. to when we were younger and we'd be on a ball court playing ball and only one guy had the ball okay and when that guy really wasn't happy with the way the game was going you know what he would say why i'm gonna take my ball and leave that's right take my ball and leave so you know something if they took their ball and leave left it doesn't mean that you still can't play the game you can have your own game you can do your own thing and what I really want people to understand as we kind of wrap things up here is that don't be hurt, don't be bitter, don't be rambunctious, you know, don't be saying bad things about folks because we don't know why people do what they do. All we can do is what we do and what we know to do that's right to do. And we're, gonna, we're always going to be straight with people. We'll never deceive them into anything. If you come to our house or go to a meeting somewhere, we're not going to say, oh, just going to have some chip and some dip and some soda pop or whatever. You know what? We don't drink soda anymore, but, you know, whatever. Uh, I just want you to know that personally, in our eyes, that's wrong. It's deceptive. Let a person know. If someone's going to be guided into what their blessing is in your life, in your circle, then they will be guided into it. Don't trick anybody into saying, well, you know, come over to this. and Because that's happened to us before. We've been victimized by that. And I don't feel too good about the folks after we've been victimized into something. So you know what you do? Well, do Be up front. Go, actually, go do like I said. When that when that guy would sit, take his ball and say, I'm going to leave. said, okay, take your ball and go. But at the same time, you say, take your ball and go. Here's what you have to really realize. We're going to play the game. We need a ball, right? So get a ball. So we have people in our business that says, you know, I'm packing up, I'm leaving it because I don't like the fact that we had, you know, they changed this in the business or they changed that. 
You know, we used to do this and we used to do that, and I don't like the difference. I don't like the change. You know, okay, just take your ball and go. Because remember, your business is your business. You are basically you're responsible for taking care of your business. You're responsible for making changes. The people that adjust and accept the, the change as it comes will say change is good. And you know what? Every time we've changed in our country, we've better. always gotten better. Our company. And, I don't know about our country, and, but and, our and, company. No, in, in, in our company, <laughs> when we made a change, it's always gotten better. Mm -hmm. We have a friend that basically looks and says, you know what? This company is a monster. And what he was saying is, you know what, every time they change, they come out with something that is just absolutely fantastic. And people, you got to learn to be proud of what you have, and it's always going to get better. Right. And talking about getting better, I love getting better with this Ganovia coffee. I'm going to show you this one. That's the Arabica Black. And I'm going to show you this one, which is the Classic Black. If you don't like coffee or not sure about it, this is a nice cocoa -y taste to it, but it doesn't have cocoa in it. Go figure. And those are the superfoods on the back. Again, get back in touch with the person who told you about Kenobia. And all. Get and all, touch. really, when you talk about getting better, <laughs> this gets better because this is the cocoa. This is the hot chocolate. You can't beat it. So, you know, yeah, change is good. There was a time we just had coffee. You forgot well, we about have... the special. You forgot about the special this week. What week is this? Like the 18th, oh. 19th, 20th? Hey, I told you change is good. Listen yeah. to this. Go on your rep site. I mean, anybody can be a YTB rep for free. And go ahead and get this coffee. Why pay $27.99 for something you can get for way, I mean, way less. But two bags of this? Or is it three bags? It's three bags, three bags of this. Three bags of this, which is 45 servings with three bags. So 15 in each bag. Three bags of this. Get you one of these and one of these free. Free. Where are you at? There you are. Free. 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 Okay. You can't beat free. You can't but beat But you know free. what? Free is always better, isn't it? And this is what they look like. Okay. The cocoa's a little bigger, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty much done. I think folks are kind of tired of hearing us kind of banter back and forth. But yeah. the bottom line is that, you know what? Even a butterfly didn't start out as a butterfly. Start out as a little wiggly worm, and it had to climb up and hang above all the average things. You know, everybody's down there like the other bugs. Why are you way up there? Well, sometimes you have to separate yourself in order to go through the change that is going to happen to you. And so right about now, we're probably going to go ahead and leave. Oh, no, wait a minute. We can't leave yet. No, we got this other announcement. Yeah, Cynthia, you want to share this other announcement with them? You just crack me up. You just keep doing that to me. Like yep. I remember everything. I don't remember everything. I just hey, know where the is, resources are. Hey. I can be always thinking I remember everything. But I don't mean, you know, change is good and it's going to get better. So, yes, it so, is. So, so, tell them about the change. I want y'all to go to, and it should be flashing up at the top, www.3rtspringfling2012.eventbrite.com. That's E-V-E-N-T-B-R-I-T-E.com. In about 45 days. 45 days. May 4th and May 5th. We're don't want to miss it. We're going to have some powerful people. It's our third one. And we're going to have, I'm going to read their names off because I do not want to forget about them. Orlando Moore from Huntsville, Alabama. We're going to have Don Bradley from Atlanta, Georgia. Lucretia Daniel, also from the ATL. We're going to have Nick Pagano from way up in Michigan and uh, the Detroit area, Detroit team there. We're going to have Tracy Heiser, who is the queen of Crown Point, Indiana. Who's going to do some amazing things with mobile marketing? So even if you're not in YTB, you know you got to advertise your business. Doesn't matter. We open up to everybody. Come find out how to make your business better, and you have Tracy Heiser and Z Mobile to thank for it. Also have Carolee Miles. She's going to show you how with just a couple of group cruises to do them right. You can drop one of your jobs that you absolutely hate. So you know what? You get good at it. You might just drop all of them and cruise the world for pennies on the dollar and even free. And then you've got Colette Howard, a kid safe. And that's K-I-D-Z-A-F-E, part of the Zamzu YTB family of services and products. We just want you to understand that Colette is, and I have to say this about her, 25-year retired veteran of the, the, um, the uh, Detroit Metro Police Department, I believe it is. And Colette, I'm sorry if I got that name wrong in there, but I do know that you know what you're talking about when it comes to mobile marketing, child safety, and uh, how our kids are really getting in a lot of trouble 
posting things online that they shouldn't be posting and parents have no clue the little darlings can be little devils at the same time. So go on. Uh, there's things that we talked about a year and a half ago that are just now coming up on the news with people saying, well, how come we didn't know about this? Well, now you can find out. Come see Colette Howard on the 5th of May. Also, we have some wonderful people talking about how to help young people be groomed in order to be their own business owners of the junior CEOs, Will and Angela Clements from Evansville, Indiana. And we've got one more wonderful lady. We leave the best for last. I tell you, Deb Tanner and social media. If you don't know Deb Tanner, she's from Indianapolis, Indiana. She is part of the 3RT Association, and she's going to be doing her thing with social media. So go to www3 RT Spring Fling. That's S P R I N G F L I N G 2012.eventbrite.com. The tickets, as far as the uh, tuition early cutoff, is April 21st. That's about 30 days away. And if you want to pay $20 extra, that's okay because we're going to feed y'all real good. So it's at the Crown Plaza at the airport free shuttles. All that information again is at www.3rtspringfling2012.eventbrite.com. Kenny, any closing words before you pull that music back up? Because it sounds so good. Well, all I can say is this is a change and a change is good. Don't want to miss this one. Remember, in your business, change is always good. Just be open to change yes. and make it happen. All right. Have a great time. And you can replay the last call, if you want to hear it, got cut off technically, but you know we started talking about change and you can wrap it up with this video. But typically, we are on live every Sunday. And you can dial 712-432-0075. And the PIN number is 802089-POUND. That's live every Sunday evening, 6.30 Eastern Time and 5.30 Central Time. If you want to replay after next week, hopefully we won't have a problem with it. Just go ahead and put 1085 after that number we just gave you. The replays are typically 712-432-1085. And the pin is the same, 802089 pound. This one is not a replay. This is the real deal. We're redoing the show from the 18th. It's actually the 20th. But because of the sun flare spots or whatever, we didn't get to finish it, so folks let us know. And we're doing this video. And I'm a poet, don't you know it? I just can't slow it down. The best is yet to come. How about y'all? Hey, see you next time. On the new attitude, same time. You know what to same say. Same time. Same Twitter channel, twitter.com forward slash read new attitude. And that's N U A T T I T U D E. God bless everybody. See you at the top. <laughs>